Okay, today we're going to teach you how to make a standalone CD player of an old CD ROM drive. I'm going to show you a little difference here before we get started. This is your standard CD ROM drive, it has one button, an eject button. Those will work, but they're not as good. So if you can find one that has the stop eject button and the play fast forward button or advance button, these ones work the best. Now well, we got that. We got our CD ROM drive. The parts you need: a connector you can chop out from any old PC that you might have, power box, PCU. Um, fan connector, cooling fan connector again from any motherboard that you're not using or that's broke or anything a voltage regulator this voltage regulator is 7805A that's the exact one you need you can get that at any, any Radio Shack or uh, if you can find a power supply unit that you had from an old computer you can strip it, you might be able to strip one out of there. And a heat sink. Any heat sink that you can find that's, you know, not too huge and clunky, but then again, not too small, will work. Oh, also, if you want to put an on off switch on there. Okay, basically, let's start here. We put our voltage regulator on our wires. Now it doesn't matter which way you put these, but just make sure that once you put it on there, put the fan connector on the voltage regulator, it fits perfectly. Make sure that you mark your wires so that you know exactly where they're going. This wire here, the first one, goes to yellow. The middle one is your black or your ground cable, and the third one's your red. Yellow is 12 volt, red is 5 volt. We'll take the uh, screw out of the heat sink. And you might want to use some of the heat paste that you can get also at Radio Shack, but if there's some on it, it doesn't get real, real hot, but it does get hot enough. I got some on here, so put that on. Screw in. And that's that. That effect. Your CD-ROM connector hooks up to this by the way your cables are connected. Like I said, with this facing you, the number's out on that plate, on that heat sink. Take your first one to your left will be your yellow. So you take your yellow. Put those two together. Don't wire cap that one, you're going to need it. Now you take your black, and you take your middle wire from your fan connect to your PC connect. It's your black ground. And take your right red. Put those together. The right one, red one, goes all the way to actually your right. Red goes to red. Now it looks, should look like this when you're done. 
Red. I got dark red here. Black to yellow. Red to black. Red to red. In that order. Now that's done. Just from the switch. The switch goes directly to your yellow wire. That's where the on that guy. And then you go to your middle or black one. You get your clip that one. And you take your other power, bleed your ground, actually. And go ahead and put a wire nut on those three. Now you are all set to plug in actually. <coughs> Now that you got this far, it's that simple. That's all there is to it. Oh, let's uh, take that uh, other red, close that up. Since that red one doesn't need anything else, we'll put a wire nut. You use a voltage regulator, you put it on 12 volts. Positive polarity, positive center polarity. Okay. This is the box that I'm going. But basically what happens is this box doesn't fit the face for a computer one. So what we do we take the box part like this. This lip will slide right off of here. Not like it don't matter. So you take your face plate off. And on the sides of your box you got these little Knobs. This is not important if you don't want to. If you want to keep the face on, keep the face on. But if you have a box that doesn't fit like the one I got, just push these in. Breaking it anyway. Don't matter. So now the face is off. That's what it looks like without the face. You got your buttons right there, and your volume control right there. Uh, forgot to mention, this is one of them fly pen speakers, just so you can hear what it sounds like, basically. Okay, we got this all set. We got the, it's in the house right there, see? Okay, I'm going to put that down. I'm going to plug the fly pen in, speaker, and... Open it. That's how she opens. Put your CD music in. This only plays music CDs, not MP3. I use this to push my buttons. Yeah. Thank you. 